got a girl Don't mean that this is But I'm talking about my world Hey guys, welcome back to the channel So we are back Um with a full face of one dollar makeup um, i'm gonna try to incorporate some of the shot miss a products that i got um from 2018 in this video um if you guys did not see the haul go ahead and check the haul for the shot miss a but i'm gonna try and incorporate most of all the shot miss a products in this video for you guys using also the brushes, the new brushes I got. This one, the Bon Voyage brush set, and some other Morphe brush sets as well that I forgot to talk about in the other video um, as well for you guys. So we're gonna just get on with the video and let's go. So you guys already know it's 2008, no, what? It's 2019 and we are here to do another video. Um, so, we have the Boy Voyage and the other brush set, so. Um, I'm gonna go online and I'm going to let you guys know what these brushes include so you guys are not lost on what's happening. So, I'm about to go on that right now. All right, so the first brush that supports children's education and it's a 10 piece bamboo brush set and it comes with 10 piece bamboo brush set. This is high quality vegan brushes or designed to look like pencils to go with the charity theme. The phase brushes come with a mesh um, brush guard, which is, at, which is this one right here. Um, to help keep brushes protected and it's, it's original shape. Um, the F26, <clears throat> which we're going to talk about right now. I want to talk in depth about it. Um, so yeah, so the first brush, the F26 brush, this is what it looks like. It's very soft from initial, um, wear. It's very, very soft. I like it. And we are going to see how it performs. Obviously, they're all soft. This one is a dome brush. Um, it says it's good for powder foundation for a natural um, finish. And then we got the F27, which is the flat top buffer brush. Um, it says it's... Hold on, let me see. It says it's used to... Let's see, blend found... Is used to give you a more full coverage finish when applying like a mineral or face powder which obviously I feel like I'm gonna use it still for liquid foundation or I might depend on how I feel like it I might use it to um, um, what is called not only for foundation but to probably to blend a little bit of my concealer um i use brushes for different reasons so yeah um the next brush is f28 which is just brushes a large face brush this is super soft large face brush that can be used for powder blush or bronzer i would decide what i will use it for but that's what it says it's for but i would decide um f30 which is this brush right here. It is a precise highlighting brush. So I guess it is good for highlighting. We will test that out. But it says it's a perce um, precise highlighter brush, small and compact brush that is perfect for applying and buffing out powder, cream, or liquid highlighter. Can also be used to blend the concealer in large areas of the face. This is kind of what my morphe m173 brush does like it's kind of like that but in a bigger version and apparently you use it to um to apply the concealer and blend it out but i'll determine what i use it for because i already have one right here but i'll see the next one is e40 so we're on to eye brushes we're done with the face brushes apparently it comes with 
four, I believe. Oh, it's a, and this one. This one is the F29 brush. Um, let me go back. That one is the flat foundation brush, but I'll probably use it for foundation flat, and then I'll probably go in with the Paw Paw um, Beauty Blender and blend it out. I call it Beauty Blender. It's not. It's a Wonder Blender, but I don't know. I call it Beauty Blender. And now we're going to move on to face brushes. So you get five. And then the... Oh, oh Lord. Oh. And then the face brushes... I mean, the, face, the eye brushes. Um, let's see. The first one apparently is the E140. It's an angled blending brush. Great for blending out eyeshadow, applying highlighter, and contouring the nose. So I'll probably depend on... Depending on how I feel, I might use it for eyeshadow. Um, yeah. And then the next one is, we're going to say E142. We're not going to go in order. Precise blending, precise pencil brush for applying color in the inner lash line. But I will use it probably for the outer corner, like it says, of the eyes. Or the inner corner of the eyes, whichever I prefer. And then the next one is the E141, which is the crease blending brush. So you can blend the crease with it like this. So yeah, we're going to try to use those. So we got that. And then we got this one, which is the E144, which is the angled eye brush for um, brushing the eyes and stuff. We will try to use that instead of the other one. And then obviously we have the last one, which is E143. 143 which is the flat eye brush and it's, it's best to apply liquid or cream primer base or shadow also use to apply concealer to high dark circles so those are the bamboo um brushes which come in a pouch list like this and i'm just gonna put it in like that all right and the next brush set I'm gonna go over those really quickly because we need to go ahead and do the video. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'll explain it once I do my um, makeup and everything. So let's go ahead and just get started with the makeup. First thing you guys already know that I use is my Wonder Skin uh, magnifying primer and my illuminating primer. So I usually put that on first. I just put a little bit because the um, illuminating one illuminates my face, but I don't want it too illuminous. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want it to be um, really illum uh, illuminating, 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 illuminating. But I do like to use more of the magnifying primer, obviously, because I need that a little bit more than I need the um, the illuminating one. So I put that on my face. If it becomes too um, too long of a video, obviously you guys know that I always like to um, give y'all a chance to just sit and relax and watch it instead of me talking too much. So yeah, um, I put that on my face just like that and I'm going to blend it out with Since this F129 brush is used mostly for um foundation i'm going to use it to apply um uh, my primer to my face instead so i want to use that as primer and then i'm going to like smoothen it over too as well with my hand Now what I like to do is just blend into my skin. If the brush doesn't do what I want it to do, I just blend into my skin. And 
and it gives me like a glow. And I also like to put my Mario Badescu water on top of that, so I'm going to do that now. So I like to put that on top, and then I also like to blend it too with my fingers. Make sure it's all nice and good. So it's ready to be um, applied. I'm going to probably do my foundation stuff first so I can use the face brushes all at once. So I'm going to go in with, um, I was thinking if I should do my perfect BB cream because I'm not really trying to go for a full, full look because if I do use my um, matte finishing um, foundation, it will be a little bit, it's a little bit red. Red, like kind of reddish neutral tint to it. I haven't used this one in a while, so I might just end up. This is how the color looks. I'm gonna try to blend it so you guys can see what the color looks. But once you blend it, it kind of blends perfectly into my skin, and it's not really full coverage like that. So sometimes it's a little bit different for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the perfect BB cream on my face and I'm going to try to decide which brush I'm going to use that for. These brushes don't really have a lot of um, face brushes that I can use to actually apply like my foundation and stuff. So we're going to go back to um, the Kabuki um, one that's small like this. It's a flat top and we're going to use that as the, found, um, as the BB cream. So yeah. But instead of um, instead of foundation, we're gonna use BB cream because I don't want to really have a um, have a full coverage look. I just want like a as they say, I want a medium coverage. I don't really want full coverage, so I'm just gonna put it on the places that I will apply it to. And I actually have two of these things and I like using it for those days where I'm not wanting to put a lot of makeup on and I will gradually put some more. So like I said, I'm going to be using that flat top cookie brush to blend the BB cream. I'm gonna see how this works if I like this or if I don't. We're gonna see. We're gonna see the way it applies. Let's see if I like the finish. I have not used this in a long time. So we're gonna see how that works out. You know that the product does go on the brush and I feel like some hairs are kind of coming out of the brush. So yeah. So I'm just gonna blend that out. Let's see. I don't know if I really, I don't even know if I like this. I mean, it's going on my face pretty well. I like to blend it. I'm just going to blend it on the eyes, but, and then put it on my nose. I mean, it's going on seamlessly, like, it's blending. Doesn't really look too bad. I mean, it is blending the way I want it to blend. I don't want it to look so um, foundation-y, you know? So, this one kind of gives me like a dewy look, this uh, BB cream. That's why I do like using it. Like, I haven't really used it as much. 
because I'm starting to want it to try out more foundations and it's already like 14 minutes like so so apparently this one says that it's for powder and mineral foundation this f27 buffer brush yeah f27 flat top yeah flat top buffer brush Gives you more for when you're applying mineral and powder foundation. I can kind of see that because my black spots are kind of like still peeking through. If you guys can see it, they're still peeking through. But then again, I guess for me, it's based on what I was looking for. Like if I was really looking for like a full coverage type of thing. So since that for me is the case, I guess. Um, I did say I wanted mineral, but mineral mid medium medium full coverage but i'm gonna take this is not part of the um because i don't really have concealer for this i mean i do have concealer but it's not the one i really want to use so i'm gonna use just this fat fast base concealer in f14 and that is for um It's also an affordable website though, so technically it's not really that, you know, um, uh, that bad. And what I'm going to do is wet my beauty blender and we are going to test that one out. Alright you guys, so this is a comparison between the two um, wonder blenders. This is how small it is and this is how big it gets. Look at the comparison, like it's huge and it's actually really much softer so I'm gonna do is blend uh, that into my skin and see what that really does for my skin hopefully it doesn't take off the product that I wanted to take off hope it gives me some type of coverage now I feel like it's taking off my makeup so the BB cream I liked it. Maybe I need to apply more to my face. Because BB cream is not really for like... BB creams are more for like a... Uh, for more um skin-like appearance, really. Not really for... At least for me. At least for me, I feel like it's more for a uh, skin-like appearance. If I don't want to put too much, you know, on my face. So we're just gonna take this beauty blender. Hopefully this beauty blender works correctly because it is soft, but I don't know if it's giving me what I need it to give me. But we'll try it out. We're gonna um, discredit it now, but we're gonna try it out and see if it does what I need it to do. So I don't know if the brush did it any justice, to be honest. Like, before when I was using this part of the Beauty Blender, it wasn't really covering up. But then again, it also depends on the foundation you use. Since I didn't use foundation, I used, C I used BB cream. It didn't give me the coverage I needed for my dark spots. But then again, that's not really what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. It's really weird. But, I mean, if I expect it to be, like, minimum coverage, then that's exactly what it's going to be. If I want it to be full coverage, I better get a foundation that is full coverage and that can take off all the black spots on my face. So, that's what I've realized. So, yeah. BB cream, not really for or intended to give you full, um, full coverage or medium to full coverage obviously but <laughs> that's another story for another day you know what i'm saying so let's just move on to the next thing so you guys i'm going to basically set my whole face with the aoa studio um finishing press powder i love this stuff and i want to use uh the f26 brush what they said is good for a powdered um foundation but i'm using it for powder using it for powder but this is not foundation this is the pressed powder for 
shot Miss Vivian. Trying to stay in the whole, um, the whole shot Miss A, you know, product side because I'm not trying to go anywhere above that. And yeah, but uh, this is my all over setting powder. But I will do it underneath. I will set underneath the eyes, especially when I'm doing the makeup look. So that's what I'm doing. I already put that concealer and everything on my face, so I'm not going back to put more concealer. I'm just going to do my cream contour. I'm kind of probably doing things backwards, but I think it's okay because who's judging? I think my under eyes are good enough. I don't really think I need to, but... You know what? To be on the safe side, I'm going to conceal my under eyes. That's the only thing I really want to conceal right now. So I'm going to conceal my under eyes. And then I'll have to probably set my face again with some powder. I'm going to let that sit on my face for a little bit and do my contour. Go get my Go Go Two brushes. This is my, this is my jam. These are my jam. Um, so I went to my Holy Grail brush for my contour and it's the HD high definition brush. And I like to blend all the stuff that I need to blend. And it's perfect because I love this thing. It is perfect for me. I love using it and then to chisel. To chisel in here too as well. I like to use that and to pull in here. I love to use it. That is so good. It blends so well. This is like my whole year. My holy grail brush. Sometimes I would like to, um, sometimes I would like to take my setting, my powder, my pressed powder, and try to lightly blend as well to blend everything together, and it's perfect. I love, look, like chiseled, like, like I like it. So I basically blend it. I can see that as much as I could underneath my eyes. So I don't know if you can see it all too far. It's blending, it's fully blending. I think it's okay. It's good enough. It's good enough. I'm going to be using the E144, which is angled brush, and my Wonder Skin. Wonder Wonder Skin. Wonder Brow. Tinted eyeshadow pomade in ebony, and we are going to use that. This didn't come with that fully, so I need to go get the spoolie. Unlike this one that has a spoolie, this one doesn't have the spoolie, so that's a kind of like eh for me, but I guess it's okay. I guess I'll accept it for now. I want to do my eyebrows off camera, then I will be right back. And I work here. I think it's okay. I don't know how I feel about this brush yet. Like, I gotta get used to it. I gotta really, really use it like that. But this one is okay. Uh, I like my original one. This is why I got another brush out of this because I love this brush the all about the eye brush set i love that brush set and my other brush sets too i love that brush set. but this one's a little bit i gotta get used to it because right now i mean it's okay but i gotta get used to it i don't really eh, i don't know uh, we have a hate and love relationship right now but yeah so i did my um brows already now we're going to move on to what let me see let me see we're going to move on to the eyeshadow because it's taking way so long and the eyeshadow is going to be the most important part of this so let's go all right you guys so i put setting powder under my eyes and i put primer 
So we're gonna blend out the primer. So these are all the face brushes from, I mean, yeah, eight eye brushes from the Bomb Voyage and the Bamboo. So we're gonna try all of these out. What we're gonna do is use the E43 brush and use it as it's directed to put it on the lids and look at this, look at my, look at my thing cre creasing, oh my god. <laughs> I had to apply more because I waited too long to um, blend my primer. It was horrible. So let's go ahead and start the eyes because we've been really postponing this. Okay, so apparently I found a brush. I'm going to use the E141 and I'm going to basically take something really subtle. I'm going to take this brown, this brown right here and this shade right here and we are going to blend it in to the crease or all over the lid actually because we made this all over lid color. So that is my base, and now we are going to use. We're gonna use this black shade. This well, it's not really black. It's more like a gray. We're gonna take this, and we're gonna just put it in the inner corners. In here. That's pretty. All right, so that's simple. I'm trying to use all the brushes. I'm gonna use. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use the E140 brush, and we are going to take this brown right here and also blend that in together. Tap the excess off. Just blend it when it blend a little bit in the crease just to add some more color before we put the lid color on there. With so far now we are going <laughs> to cut the crease. Alright, so usually I use a specific thing to cut the crease, but since we're already here, you know what I'm saying? We are going to use, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this E148 brush to do that. And I'm going to take my white eyeshadow base and we are going to put, well actually I'm gonna put it on our hands. And obviously I do it off camera because I need to take my time. Right, it's a little bit rusty, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but it's okay, you guys. It's a little bit rusty, but it's okay. We are... We are going to set... I say set because... It's not really setting anything, really. I'm going to take the same brush, which is the E148, back of the hand, apply. I'm going to apply it on here because we are going to add some color and we need the eyeshadow to stick. So, don't mind the fact that it's uneven. <laughs> Don't mind if that is on you, okay? Just don't look at it. Just blind yourself. Okay. 
Yeah. Don't mind that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, we're going to take two palettes. Three, probably. We're going to take this one right here. There's like a shade here. But that's only if this one... Oh, I caught it. That's only if that, that one that I got from Sephora is not blinding enough. I'll put, you know, the other gray colors in here. But I'm just going to take it. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to take it. Uh, see if it will open up. I'm going to take the color. I'm just going to blend that on top. Sometimes I want to use my finger if that doesn't apply the way I want it to. So I'm just taking my finger slightly and applying it to my eyes just like that I got a mirror here too if you guys see me really like keep looking on the other side because I got a mirror right here so that's why I'm doing that but I'm not work I'm not um ignoring you guys I'm just looking at myself in the mirror if you get what I'm saying okay it's not me. There's not really a lot of fallout that I was scared that it was gonna occur. Like it's not really that much. Is the color blinding? Yes. Do I need more? Obviously. Especially at the top, where the white base is. I need. I'm talking a lot, but this might just be fast forwarded to be honest with you.